Hey y'all. Here I am again. Um, I'm going to do a couple of these little blooms because I got new paint. And um, I'm going to try it out. I love that when you get new paint. Or new pigments. You know, either one. It's so much fun. So this is the pillow. It's going to slump glidden. <laughs> Semi gloss base one. It is uh, got some JC 800 in it, and um, I have some really pretty colors mixed up a lot of them. So, this is some prism violet, and uh, I've said these new paints are medium body acrylics by Master's Touch and um, I really like them. Uh, I like the variety of colors they have. They have a lot of different colors than you can get in just the plain soft body acrylics and that's really fun. And that was obviously brown green. This is turquoise deep. green and we need some more blue in there this blue is pretty let's go with this I don't even know what it is I have some colors out here from yesterday some color this boysenberry some colors from yesterday some colors from today I got all the front guns I want to put just a little bit of this medium magenta in here and then we'll go with that one. And I have uh, I'm in here. Okay. system. I need to move that off of that rack though. That one is really tilted. I can see it. Move it over here. Okay. This is a pigment. Um, this is a color of pigment. Um, I'm not sure which one, but it's one of them. And I believe that this is some peacock feather. Yeah, it is. And I think this is some Viridian. Um, which is kind of similar to uh, Bright Aqua Green by uh, uh, Lucratex. This is Cobalt Turquoise. I think this is 
is my sh this is my chartreuse. bit of prison ballad in there and then we need some blue and this is ultramarine green hue I don't know what that means I'll admit it um, when it says such and such hue because I can't really tell just looking at it that it's much different than um, you know um, the regular. This is my new pigment I got today. It's um, black emerald. So I thought it might go well with that pink. And I'm going to use the black cell activator this time because I don't have very much. I have just a tad bit of white left um, cell activator. So I'm going to have to be using white from now on. I guess. Or different color, you know. All right. That's beautiful. That's really pretty. Okay, we'll try it out again. I like doing these little ones, they're fun. I mean, you can't get any more immediate gratification than this. They take two seconds to do. And I mean, the mixing, the paint, everything takes a long time. But I enjoy that too. It's the fun part of the process, but um, these are just so much fun to do. I love them. And I used to despise them. They're not fun if they don't work right, you know, until you get your mix right and you get everything working, they're not a lot of fun. They're a pain in the butt because they don't work right. They're finicky. And these have got polycrylic um, instead of bright tone because I'm out of bright tone for the moment so I thought I would consider whether what the big you know if there's a big difference between the bright tone and the polycrylic because bright tone is quite a bit more expensive um, but I've been really happy with it you know but I can't remember what it's like to use just polycrylic so I thought well since I'm out of the bright tone I'll do some more of them and I'll see what I think. Uh, that one up there is gorgeous. I think that's a, a really pretty combination of colors. The black looks real pretty with it, with that hot pink and the greens. Uh, I had to go back to Hobby Lobby. I had to, I just had to, um, to get these little canvases. And uh, I got a couple more paints too while I was there. I am just a sucker. I mean, I cannot walk into that place without spending money. Oh, these little boogers get slippery. I almost dropped it. I'll stretch it a little bit more. They're still making those little holes from the paint being, I think my untinted base had been stirred because it was almost frothy like in the can. And I knew something looks funny about it when I opened it. And see these little pinprick holes that I'm getting there? Um, I don't like them. And um, 
I think that's what they are, is little uh, air bubbles. Oh, I keep having to fill them in. I can't stand them. All right, I'm gonna set this one up there. pour that off anyway but I need a spool in here I have to lean over too much actually that black cell activator is working really well I'm gonna make a gold one in a minute because I need some more gold paint anyway so I'll just make a gold cell activator and see if it works as well with the glue. I think if you're gonna make one that's not white and that doesn't have the titanium in it, you need to add glue or something else because otherwise, just the flush roll alone, I haven't found that to be um, all that successful. But if I add glue, it works. That's just me. Just like everything you get on this channel, it's just my experience. It's just what's happened to me. I don't have all the answers. I got lectured today at the farmer's market about how I sign my paintings. Because I sign them on the back and not the front. Because with these, what I think the top and the bottom and the sides might be, might differ from the person that buys them. And if I go ahead and sign them, then that commits, you know, the front, back sides, whatever. And then they can't choose it. So I don't sign them on the front. And this guy just got all bent out of shape about it. He lectured me for about 30 minutes. I was like, dude, why do you care? I mean, <laughs> uh, people are strange. I appreciate, you know, constructive criticism and everything, and I said, I understand your point, and I would agree with you under any other circumstances, but, like, if it was a traditional acrylic painting, I would sign it on the bottom right corner, but with these, if I do that, I'm making a commitment, you know, for somebody that's going to buy it, and they may not like it like that, so, I don't know. People are weird. Okay. Have a look at these. I really like this second one. Um, those are pretty cells, you know, in that one. That one's pretty, but this one I think is like stunning. I don't know. What do y'all think? I think that's stunning. Well, thanks for joining me. I appreciate you being here as always. And I do this pretty much all day long every day. So I'm always around and there's always lots of content. So if you're bored, you can always find me. Y'all have a wonderful day and uh, I'll see you next time.